In the talk about power couples, few names command as much attention and fascination as Jay-Z and Beyonce. Their success, talent, and influence have made them icons in the music industry and beyond. However, amidst the glitz and glamour, there have always been whispers about the relationship. Recently, renowned TV personality Wendy Williams has stepped forward and revealed one of the darkest secrets of their marriage, which is the claim that Jay-Z rules over Beyonce. In this video, we will delve deeper into Wendy Williams' revelation. So, is it true that Beyonce is under Jay-Z? Watch on to find out. Even though Jay-Z has reportedly cheated on her several times, Beyonce has always remained faithful and loyal to her husband, and this has raised some suspicions from fans. Now, with Wendy Williams stepping out to hit the nail on the head about the secret in the power couple relationship, it seems the pieces of the puzzle are now falling into their rightful place. The former TV host has been in the industry for too long not to be aware of things going on behind the scenes as she regularly dishes out hidden secrets. According to her, the Grammy-winning singer has been showing signs of being under control. Wendy has long suspected something amiss with the dynamics of the Carter family, and her findings revealed that Jay-Z allegedly kept his wife addicted to drugs to have her under his control, always. As mentioned earlier, Wendy has long suspected something strange with the Carter family. The first time she suspected this was in 2012, when Wendy was talking about Beyonce's upcoming HBO documentary called Life is But a Dream on her show. During this time, Wendy talked about Beyonce's inability to talk coherently, saying, I'm going to watch her upcoming documentary because fortunately, one of the TVs in our kitchen has closed captioning, so I'll be able to understand what she says. You know, Beyonce can't talk. She sounds like she has a fifth grade education. Although Wendy was blasted by the studio audience for the comment, she was on point with her statement. Apparently, Wendy wasn't trying to sound rude to the singer, she was only trying to point out what everyone failed to notice. There was something odd about Beyonce's inability to speak clearly. Before Wendy made that seemingly hurtful comment about Beyonce, she had always admired the singer's talent, and even confessed that she was a big fan. I am a Beyonce fan, which showed that Wendy was trying to sound a wake-up call to the singer's fan base that she wasn't herself with the way she talked and behaved. According to her, Jay-Z had a role to play for her incoherent speech and that he intended to keep her under some strong substances so she could be easier to control. Meanwhile, Wendy had only a face-to-face -face conversation with Beyonce once during her TV hosting days, but the singer's marriage has always been a subject of discussion by the former TV host on her Wendy Williams talk show. In a 2014 episode of her show, Wendy hinted to her audience that Jay-Z and Beyonce were allegedly experiencing problems in their marriage, and she thought that Queen B was finally waking up to reality. However, after some time, Wendy said she didn't think the couple would get a divorce because Jay always found a way to control his wife. And since Beyonce is pretty much always on these substances, she has always remained in a sedated state. The former host later said the couple are reportedly trying to figure out a way to split without divorcing. In other words, a hood divorce. I do think, though, that they are vain enough that when the love is over, they will not divorce because they're scared of what we're going to say. When Beyonce released her sixth studio album, Lemonade, in which most of the lyrics were about the singer's tumultuous relationship with Jay-Z, particularly concerning his infidelity, lots of fans believed that Beyonce was revealing Jay's relationship with his supposed mistress, Rachel Roy. But Wendy, being someone who never shies away from saying things like these situations, pointed out during her Hot Topic show that it seemed suspicious as the song had been released two days after the death of music legend Prince. According to Wendy, Jay-Z incited Queen B to release the song at that moment to divert the attention of the public from the death of Prince back to his family. Wendy backed her opinion by expressing her doubt that the issue between Jay-Z and Queen B was as serious as they were attempting to make it seem in the album. Wendy suggested that the infidelity issues, breaking up, and Jay-Z begging Beyonce not to leave him were all PR stunts and that they employed Rachel Roy to play a role in it. 
Beyonce talked about Rachel Roy in 2014 in her Sorry Music, which was among the songs in her Lemonade album. In the song, Beyonce sang about a girl named Becky with good hair. Fans were curious about who Becky was, and Rachel helped them in satisfying this curiosity by sharing a pic right after the release of the album. Captioning the picture, Rachel wrote, Good hair, don't care, but we will take good lighting for selfies. Or, self-truths always, live in the light. While everyone instantly believed that the album was truly an attempt by Beyonce to expose Jay's infidelity, Wendy Williams wasn't of the same opinion. She claimed that the whole thing was planned by Jay-Z because he wanted to sell more albums and that he was using his wife as a publicity tool for this. The former TV host thought that Beyonce was half dead most of the time in the marriage, which was why she believed that the infidelity talks were a scheme by Jay-Z and Rachel was paid for her role in it. Referring to Rachel, she said, first of all, you're not fighting this girl unless you're on Jay-Z and Beyonce's payroll. Meanwhile, Wendy Williams is not alone with these beliefs. Some celebrities and people who worked for the iconic duo have also tried to expose Jay-Z and Beyonce's secret lies. One of them being Uncle Ron, Beyonce's former bodyguard. In a now-deleted TikTok video, Uncle Ron claimed that Jay is obsessed with controlling the former Destiny's child leader, and their marriage was solely a business transaction. Remember your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to become billionaires. There's no love there, claimed Uncle Ron. The video has since been deleted, and the mystery remains as to whether Ron deleted it himself or if it was taken down, an action which Jay-Z could do with the power he possesses. Although there is no proof to support these accusations, the fact remains that it is coming from someone close to the couple. Also, several celebrities have been silent about this matter, probably out of fear of Jay-Z's reaction if they revealed anything. But since nothing can be hidden for a long time, some celebrities have been backing Wendy's claims and sharing their views on Beyonce's irrational behavior. Another being 50 Cent. The many man hitmaker revealed during his appearance on The Breakfast Club that Jay-Z has some people on his leash list, of which Beyonce was one of them. The rapper claimed that Jay-Z was good at capitalizing on people, which was perhaps responsible for the rapper's early retirement. As we all know, Jay-Z retired in 2003, claiming that he was tired and fanned out. But the secret could be that Jay-Z is secretly still using his wife to earn money, which can be seen with her expensive tour tickets. And since Beyonce isn't herself, she is mostly unaware of this happening. Further speaking on The Breakfast Club, 50 Cent recounted in an experience where he and Jay-Z were having some verbal altercations in Las Vegas some years back, and Beyonce jumped in and wanted to fight him. He recalled, she was on a windowsill, and I'm like, wait, what are you doing? That's me and Jay-Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, girl. He also noted that he was taken aback by Beyonce's reaction that he didn't know what to do at the moment. While some people believe Beyonce's reaction could be out of love for Jay-Z, others thought that she was losing herself due to substance intake. With these allegations from Wendy Williams, Uncle Ron, and 50 Cent about Queen Bee's irrational behavior, the viral elevator fight between Queen Bey's sister, Solange, and Jay-Z now makes sense. Perhaps Solange was aware of what her brother-in-law was doing to her sister and was confronting him about it. All in all, Wendy has helped in exposing one of the dark secrets of Jay-Z, and though the rapper might use his influence and power to remove any evidence of these allegations, the truth remains that he cannot keep the truth hidden forever. Do you think that Jay-Z is manipulating his wife? Let us know in the comments section. Stay tuned to this channel for more celebrity news.